Hey you, what is up, how's it going? This is Kazi from cleverprogrammer.com. In this video, I want to talk about the power of generalizing versus specializing and how it can help you kind of explode your growth as a computer programmer, as a developer, as a Python or JavaScript, whatever programming language you're doing. It's kind of free of that. Without any further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, welcome guys. This is Kazi from cleverprogrammer.com. Here I am in Colombia, Marianne, traveling, trying to get as much footage as possible here uh, because it looks awesome. But I do want to say that while I'm traveling here and exploring new things, right? Like I moved to LA just a little bit like recently and now I'm in Colombia just like traveling. It's like broadening my horizons at a whole new level. And it's allowing me to think and tap into new ways of thinking that I never thought of. And it's helping me explode and grow the business that's Clever Programmer. Like Clever Programmer is about to turn into something that's bigger than me or any one person. You know, it's all of us and it's a movement. And I wouldn't be able to think like that if I just stayed pigeonholed in one place at one time. It doesn't let you operate at that higher level. And so, that's what traveling and exploring new things has done for you. Now tying, it, now tying it back to you, right? If you are learning, let's say even programming, you don't wanna maybe even stick with one specific technology and become a specialist. Cause like Robert Kiyosaki says uh, in his book, he says that specializing is for the, I think he says something like for the bugs, right? Uh, and really the idea, or insects, I think something like that. But basically the idea is if you only specialize in one thing and kind of go, laser focus in that, you're not growing in all aspects of your life and you only have very linear growth, okay? It's very linear, okay? One for one. When you look at and try new different things, uh, tap into possibilities you never explored before, you have this explosive growth. That's kind of what happened to Clever Programmer Business, like how it grew into this big thing in less than a year, right? That doesn't happen for many other coding channels and it's not because of me, it's because I'm constantly changing my surroundings, constantly changing the people that I'm around and the thoughts that I'm letting in. Because as long as you remember the thoughts you're letting in are not your own and they can be changed, is a very powerful and freeing thing and you could use it to your advantage, okay? So if you wanna become a better programmer, why don't you travel, go to newer places and just meet people there and maybe they can teach you some new ways of programming, right? It just opens up the way that you think and explore and look for opportunities. You might not have been looking in the places before. You know, also it lets you go of the fear of what's new, what's next. Then you can apply the same thing to programming. The same reason why people get so afraid of applying to this job or that job, because we're afraid we don't know what's there and we don't know if we're gonna get accepted we we don't know there's a lot of unknown variables so when you do new things all the time you become less phased by the unknown you actually start enjoying the unknown okay and that's how I want you to look at your life as a programmer as a web developer as a businessman whatever it is that you're doing okay and if you can do that you will tap and you will grow at an exponential level. And that's what I want you to be doing in whatever area of your life you're in. Do that, you will explode, you will grow a lot. Other cool things, right? Like I'm here and you could hire a private instructor to coach you in programming. In United States, it might've been like, I don't know, $100, $150 an hour. You could come to another country like Colombia Medellin and you could have programmers train you for like $10 an hour or $15 an hour and they're badass programmers. So just different way of thinking and kind of think of value arbitrage as well, right? Take advantage of all these opportunities that we have in this world. You're not supposed to, you know, most people, 80% of the people die within 300, um, a radius of 300 miles from within where they're born. You don't wanna be part of that statistic, okay? Go out, explore, have fun. And as always, this is Kazi. I love your faces off and I'll see you in the next video. Whoosh.